So we're here with Yochevet Seidoff, who is one of the founders of Lamplighters Yeshiva. So Yochevet, tell us a little bit about creating this yeshiva. What is going to be in the programming? We're very curious. Um, well, finding this yeshiva has been one of the most fulfilling, exciting, challenging, and invigorating things that um, we've ever tackled. Um, it's really about giving our children the best of everything and allowing them to be fully actualized and happy and ecstatic about learning and about life and about um, what it can do in the world. Um, and so it's a really small school with a really strong sense of family and responsibility and the sense that every person has a voice and every person matters. And so even in building our school and growing and, and taking more children, you know, we're preparing to double in size next year, we're really committed to that idea of every child is a world and each one of us, the parents, the teachers, the other kids, we're all involved in really supporting that world and really giving them the tools to love themselves and be empowered on their mission in, in this world. So I understand that there is going to be Torah studies, but also arts, culture, science, and other uh, subjects that are going to be incorporated into the entire uh, schedule. Can you tell us what type of uh, subjects we're talking about exactly? Sure. Well, the it's a Hasidic school, and it's a Orthodox Jewish school, and we call ourselves lamplighters. And the idea is that um, every person is really on a mission in this world to bring light to every corner. And so through studying Torah, um, studying the weekly Torah portions, holidays, things like that, our children really encounter every facet of life. Um, so when they're learning about the six days of creation, and they're learning that, man create, that God created man on the sixth day, they're like take, looking at an anatomy book and they're looking at the human body and they're understanding that the science of, of a person, of a body. But they're also thinking about why were we created? What's our purpose here? So it's really the unification of spirit and matter. And they're painting and they're doing math and Montessori and, and, also, and they're dressing up all day long. And they're really just alive and they're understanding that everything is unified. Is there going to be uh, music incorporated as well and other sort of performing but, arts? Well, they have a dramatic play center. Um, like I said, they dress up a lot and they're always singing. And I think more than like subjects, it's really about following the child. So like, you know, if a kid is into dressing up, they'll dress up. If they're into bugs, they'll, be, they'll have a bug cage. If they're into uh, painting, they're painting. It's really about finding what the child is interested in. And as a mom, I'm so excited because I feel like our teachers are really in tune to our kids. It's really about what the kids are interested in. What about reggae and hip hop classes? <laughs> well, you know who's on our founding board, so you never know. <laughs> it could be a good idea. <laughs> Maybe. Do some Torah beatboxing. Sure, why not? It's know. all possible. Excellent. So. Congratulations Thank on you. developing the uh, young Jewish minds of tomorrow. Thank Hopefully you. we'll get some leaders out of that school. I'm positive you will. That's <laughs> we're <laughs> expecting. And uh, good luck with everything. Thank you so much, Sue. Thank you. Thank you.